Um, I don't know what they put in it. I really don't know. Let's talk about lip product. A couple of you told me how to say it. Did I say it right? I don't think I did. Put this in the cart. Welcome back, girl. We are about to get into it. So Sephora is having their savings event pretty, pretty soon. I pulled out my favorites, like my holy grails for the year so far. Um, I wanted to only mention the ones that I've tried out this year that have become my favorites that I want to recommend to you guys. Cause I can give, like I can sit here all day and recommend so many products to y'all, but we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna only focus on the products that I tried for the year that have become my favorites that I just wanna recommend to you all. But I mean, if you wanna see all of my other recommendations, I have tons of Sephora recommendations videos on my channel. Um, you guys can definitely check those out. Okay, pause. Since filming this video, I've tried a few more products that I would love to recommend. So you will find those down below in the description. So with that being said, if any of you are looking for a good body serum, I have one for you. This is the Moroccan Oil Body Night Body Serum. Now I know it says night, but I use it day and night. And I also like to use it, um, and I also use it mixed in with my lotions or my body butters. So that way I don't use it up too fast. That's a good tip. If you don't want to use your serums up too fast, cause I know you put this on first and then put whatever else you want on top. But if you don't want to use it up too fast, just squirt a little bit in your lotion or your body butter, um, and use it that way. So yeah, really good serum. It smooths the skin. It just makes the skin look healthy and glowy and just soft and just all of the good things. But yeah, if you are wanting a new body um, serum, this is a really good one. Um, Necessaire has a good body serum. St. Jane has a good body serum. But this is just the one that I, um, that's new to me, that I definitely recommend to you guys. So that, um, ooh, let's talk about fragrances, girl. Okay. So I have a new fragrance in my collection. It's called Dolce by Rosie Jane. I can sit here and name a handful of vanilla fragrances to you guys, but if I had to pick maybe like my top three, this has made it to my top three. It has made it, okay? This has notes of vanilla. It says chocolate but I don't get that. I get, okay, so when I first smelled it, I immediately thought of vanilla ice cream and a waffle cone drizzled with caramel. And I said that on my Instagram because I shared this on my Instagram story. Just imagine going in an ice cream shop and they just made the waffle cone. You know how they put it on the waffle, the iron thing. <laughs> it's freshly made, it's still warm. They put the ice cream in it, drizzle some warm caramel on top. Ugh. That is what this gives. I just can't pick up the chocolate though. It says it has notes of chocolate, but I cannot pick that up. Oh my gosh. And it's not like overly sugary. Over, it's not too sugary. It's very, very cozy and uh, All right, my next favorite, my next new favorite is the Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. I feel like with this fragrance, you'll either love it or you'll hate it. Like there's literally no in between. I feel like there's no in between. Um, so you'll either love it or hate it. This is a nutty, sweet, cotton candy, marshmallow type of fragrance. It's very, very, very pretty. Um, I like it more when it dries down. Like when I first spray it, the smell isn't the best, but when it dries down on me and not like throughout the day, mm, it just smells so freaking good on my skin. But yeah, another favorite of mine that I highly recommend if any of you are wanting a new fragrance that has notes of marshmallow, can uh, marshmallow, cotton candy, um, hazelnut, what else? Pistachio, uh, whipped cream. So yeah, something sweet, nutty, a little sugary, cozy, good. All right, now if you're looking for a new fragrance, a new floral fragrance, a really pretty girly, sweet floral scent, Ellis Brooklyn Flores. This is a very pretty sweet floral. It's so, so, so good. Perfect for the spring, perfect for the summer, and I love it. But yeah, girl, a floral scent, if you're looking for a new floral scent, a nice marshmallowy, nutty, 
candy scent or if you're looking for a good vanilla scent. So those are the three that I um, would highly recommend. I don't have much in skincare because I didn't, I haven't really used a lot of different new products this year because um, I like to stick to what I know. But I do have some good recommendations if you have sensitive skin, combination skin, um, uh, dry skin, and yeah. And when I mean combo, I mean oily combo because I'm oily combo. Um, but first product I have is this one from Strivectin. Okay, this is a moisturizer and an SPF. So if that's what you're looking for, this right here is called the Super C SPF 30 Vitamin C Moisturizer. So if you're on the hunt for a moisturizer and an SPF instead of having to buy two different products, this is good. It has vitamin C. It makes the skin look more radiant. It wears great under makeup. And if you use it enough, it starts to make your skin look just healthy overall. And there's no white cast at all. And it has a light citrusy scent to it too. So um, another product that I tried out this year that I'm still loving is this one from, this is also Strivectin. This is the vitamin, um, Super C Retinol Bright and Correct Vitamin C Serum. Some retinols, um, they can be kind of um, strong on the skin or they can irritate the skin. This one does not. I've used this enough to tell you that I have not experienced any um, dry patches, peeling, um, sensitivity. Like I haven't, but I haven't experienced any of that when using this retinol. I've used a couple of other retinols where my skin does feel kind of um, tight. It feels dry. It peels, but with this one, it does not. And it also just makes the skin look glowy and bright and healthy and just, ugh. So yeah. These two together, and that's how I use it. I use both of these together. This moisturizer from Glossier, you need it. So I use this as a night cream. I used to put it on like in the morning times, but then I kind of switched my morning routine a little bit, but this is all I use at night. Like this is the very last product I put on my face. Look at this, y'all. I'm gonna have to get me another one. And you already know I have it in the cart right now because I'm ready to get another one during the Sephora sale. But this is a very thick moisturizer. And when I say thick, I mean thick. Like you literally have to warm it up in your fingers before putting it on your face. Oh my gosh. The moisture from this is, ugh. and it is, I mean, it says it's a after balm moisture barrier recovery cream. So if your skin is irritated from, I don't know, products that you're using or, you know what? I don't even want to say that because I'm not an esthetician. I don't know, but I just know it has been wonders on my oily combo skin as a night cream. I absolutely love that moisturizer. Um, another product for skincare, this one from Fenty Skin, this uh, makeup melt. It's the Melt Off Jelly Oil Makeup, bleh, Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. I talked about this in a favorites video recently. Put this in the cart, like put it in the cart right now. This, this. Okay, so when I put this on and you know rinse it off, I feel like I don't need to, I'm obviously gonna wash my face because I always double cleanse, but when I take everything off with this product, it just it just feels and looks like my skin is just really, really clean. Um, I don't know what they put in it. I really don't know. I mean, obviously the stuff is like the ingredients is on the back, but this is some good stuff, like really, really good. I also recommend the Oak Cleansing Balm. I recommend that every year, but if you're wanting to, you know, kind of get us, get something a little different, something new, something fun. Cause I like the packaging of this too. Look at this, you open it and then you just press the top right there and it comes out. But yeah, something cute and different that actually works. I recommend that. Moving on to makeup products. I have one, two, three foundations. Well, two foundations, one tinted moisturizer. The first one is Laura Mercier, you guys. I haven't even had a chance to sit here and do like a full review on my channel, but I did one on my Instagram. Well, I did like a makeup application using this on Instagram, but oh my gosh. Oily skin. This, this foundation is the foundation 
for oily skin. I think for all skin types, but if you have oily skin, this, first off, is very lightweight. Like, very. Like, it feels like I have nothing on my face. Feels like I just have maybe like a moisturizer on my face. Very lightweight. It absorbs the oils. It's sweat proof. Girl, I use a shade 5W1. I'm gonna go ahead and sit this right here in front of me so I can see it, so I can film a video using that foundation. Not today, cause I already have makeup on, but I'll film it tomorrow. It's right here in front of me, like right here in front of me. Um, okay, Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer. I already did a video on this. This is a really good um, lightweight product if you don't wanna wear, I say it's a good medium between wearing foundation and not wearing foundation. If you get what I'm saying. I mean, it's a tinted moisturizer. I'm just being so extra, like it's a tinted moisturizer. But yeah, if you're on the new hunt for a new tinted moisturizer, this one from Too Faced is really good. Okay, Makeup by Mario Foundation. If you have not gotten this yet, why? Get it now. Actually, don't get it now. Wait until the sale. But if you haven't tried this out yet, girl, for any of you who want that natural glow within type of look, this is the foundation. This is it. It's so pretty and radiant on the skin. The coverage is good. It blends in really good. The shade range is good. I did a video on this too. Um, but yeah, if you want that skin-like, glow within, natural, radiant look, this is the foundation for that. And I use the shade 230. Um, okay, concealer that I tried this year that had become a favorite of mine is this one from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Naked Quickie Concealer. The coverage is there, is long wearing, doesn't crease, blends effortlessly and beautifully into the skin. Very, very nice. I never use a little brush part on it, but that's a plus if you, you know, you know, wanna, Put it in your purse. You already have a little brush built in to blend the product in with. So that's, you know, cute little plus right there. But yeah, I love it because it reminds me so much of my favorite concealer, which is the one from e.l.f. Um, let's talk about powder. Westman Atelier. A couple of you told me how to say it. Did I say it right? I don't think I did. I've been saying Westman Atelier. I think it's Atelier. Atelier, I think. Um, but yeah, Westman Atelier. This is the Vital Press Skin Care Powder in the shade Pink Bubble. So this stuff right here is pricey, okay? It's very pricey. <laughs> but I was very shocked when I tried this out. I tried it, I actually tried it with you guys in a video. I did a Vogue inspired get ready with me when I was you know, getting ready in the bathroom and I tried it out in that video and I was blown away at how beautiful it looked under the eyes. Like it gives that airbrushed soft look. It's not pink. I mean, it's pink, but it doesn't look pink when I put it on the skin. This is what it looks like. It's a little dirty from my makeup, but very, very, very beautiful. The only thing I don't like about it is how small it is, the price. And I think those are the only two things I don't like about it because it's very small and it's very pricey. I don't wanna, you know, use it up too fast. But if you have been wanting to try anything out from the brand, I'd say try out the powder. Um, and I just put a little bit under the eyes. You can use it as a finishing powder, you know, once you're done with your makeup or you can set your concealer with it. I've used it both ways and I like it. So yeah, really like that. And then y'all, Huda Beauty, I know y'all are tired of hearing me talk about this powder, but this was, I've tried the Huda Beauty powder before, like when it first came out, but this year was the first, was my first time trying out the Cherry Blossom um, color. This is the pink setting powder. And when I tell y'all, this looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful on brown and dark skin. I've never seen this powder um, until, you know, I got on TikTok and I didn't really like use TikTok like that until this year. But this powder was blowing up and I was like, wait a minute, I need to see it on brown and dark skin. I need to see if it's gonna look ashy and it does not. It does not. When I tell you this is so pretty as an under eye setting powder, 
Um, hopefully it's in stock when the sale, you know, during the sale. But yeah, the Cherry Blossom Pink Setting Powder from um, Huda Beauty. Really good. I use Hanufa, Kanufa. Kanufa. The, um, the other color. That's what I was using before I used, uh, before I was, you know, introduced to Cherry Blossom. But anyway, next we have a couple of blushes and then we're almost done. So this is the Too Faced uh, Cloud Crush Blush in the shade Watermelon Rain. This has easily become one of my favorite pink magenta blushes. So pretty on the skin. Beautiful. So if you are on the hunt for a blush like this, like this type of color, this one, or if you don't wanna pay, I mean, it's not expensive, but if you wanna spend a little less on um, a blush that's exactly like this, I would say get the one from Sephora Collection because Sephora Collection, I think they're gonna actually be 30% off during the um, sale because they usually have 30% off um, with you know, the Sephora Collection products, but Sephora Collection blush, matte blush in the shade Hey Jealousy is literally the same color as this. So if you, you know, wanna, you know, and a little bit more or less, then I'd say get the one from Sephora. But this is one that I tried this year. Cause remember, I'm talking about the products that I tried this year that have become my favorites. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love. And the packaging is adorable. The next blush is Danessa Myricks. So she came out with these like little single um, blushes. This is in the shade Rose and Brunch. It's the Yummy Skin um, Blush. Yummy skin, yeah, the yummy skin blush. So this is what the color looks like. It's like a pink, uh, mauve type of color. Really, really pretty. It's a little bit lighter than the um, the pink inside her um, her palette. Y'all know that she has like that dewy cheek palette. There's a color in the palette that I thought looked just like this until I got this and tried it out. So this is a little bit lighter than that shade, but really pretty, really pretty. You can put this on the cheeks, your lips, I think your eyes too. Um, but yeah, I've used it on the cheeks and the lips and I love the color. So, and I like that it doesn't like fade away too easily. You know how some um, cream blushes like over time, it's like you didn't even apply any blush. That stays on the face, it stays on all day. Um, the next blush is the Dior. So this has been out for a while, but this year I tried it out and I am still kind of blown away at how this works. Like when you open this thing up, girl, I did, I never thought this would work for me. <laughs> it's so light. And then when you swatch it, it looks like freaking chalk. But when you put it on your cheeks, it's crazy. I'm gonna try to find a video. I, I mean, I've shown you guys this in a few videos, but if you haven't seen it, um, cause I really can't remember the videos that I featured it, uh, fe yeah, featured it in, but I did do a little mini video on my phone and posted it on my social medias and I'll try to find that video and have it pop up right here so y'all can see me apply this blush. It's crazy at how, like it's just crazy. But yeah, the color is 001 pink. They have a coral one, which I still haven't tried, um, but I like this one, really cute. Let's talk about lip products. I only have one, two, three. I thought I only had more. I thought I had more. Makeup by Mario, the new lip colors. I have the shade Sol uh, Soft Nude and Caramel. These are very, very, very good and different to me. So they go on like they're, they're they go on like a gloss but they don't feel like a gloss. They're very thin. I already have product on my lips, but I just wanna apply a little bit of soft nude just in the center. It's in the pigment. The pigment, y'all, is insane. But they're glossy, but very, very thin. And they have a slight cooling sensation to them. So, cause they're like plumping lip products. I'm gonna apply, I'm doing a lot right now, but I don't even care. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the caramel around the edge. Balance. <laughs> You're not even getting the true color because I had pink products on before putting this on, but I just wanna show y'all the shine. See how shiny it is? The other lipstick I have, so I have 
I'm gonna show you guys both of these because I went ahead and switched out the actual lipstick. These are the Dior Addict, Dior Addict Shine Lipstick. This is 001. This is what I had on my lips before applying the makeup by Mario. I had that this on and other products. But this has easily become my favorite everyday natural pink lipstick and i might have to get me another one because i've been using the mess out of this i keep this in my purse but this is what the color looks like really pretty love 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 the formula of this lipstick it's so so good and creamy and it actually stays on it doesn't like wear off too easily um but yeah zeros no did i say zero zero one it's in the shade 100 nude look just know it's 100, but yeah, you can get this off Sephora. So if you get this off Sephora, you're actually gonna get the black case with it. And I went ahead and stuck the other shade that I have. I can't even tell y'all what shade this is. Uh, this is. I got this one off of the Dior um, website when I got the pink case. So the reason why I got another Dior lipstick is because when I first tried this out, I was like, yes, I need me another one of these. So I just went ahead and got one off of Sephora. But yeah, the formula of this lipstick is so freaking good. Okay, that is all that I have to recommend to you guys. But um, definitely check out all of my other Sephora recommendations because I have so many products to recommend to you guys. Um, so check out those videos if you are looking for more products or just more products to add to your list. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I shared all of my current favorites and recommendations. Let me know what is in your cart. What is in your cart? Or if you have any recommendations, let me know that too. So leave it down below in the comments. I'm gonna be looking and I'm probably gonna be adding more to my list. So leave all your recommendations down below. Anything you want me to try out and review on the channel, yes, please do that. Any makeup product, body care, anything. What do you wanna see? What product you wanna see, you know, reviewed? Let me know, leave it down below in the comments. But yeah, girl, that is it. Thank you again for hanging out with me while I shared all these products. If you enjoyed, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one.